it, guys. I'm just waiting. Hopefully the sound will work. <laughs> so I went up to my sister's. I wanted to deliver the calendar um, for my niece, who's going in tomorrow. So hopefully baby comes soon. And um, so then they took me out on their boat. It was a great day. So I had a good time. But that there's a really good Dollar Tree down there. So the stuff I have is from different Dollar Trees. But anyway, I wanted to show you, I, th I think I shared that I was gonna alter four of these to say fall. And I just finished doing that. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I put a letter on each one with my Cricut. This is, the paper is often teeth. What is it? gracious and then this is a Dollar Tree I found the little sunflowers so excited and I had these wood pieces leaves in my stash that I got on a Tuesday morning I just inked them up with distress inks and there's the F oops the flower came up darn it A so I might come back with um glue dots or something but anyway L and another L of course because it spells fall so yeah I'm really happy with how those came out and um, so I wanted to share that and then I talked about I've decoupaged burlap sacks before so when I saw the burlap leaves I've decoupaged with napkins um, and I just did this one so it's still a little damp. I blue dry it so I can show you guys. So I took different leaves, or different leaves, different napkins, this one, and the sunflower one that I had from Tuesday morning. And then I just quickly, like I said, I just slopped this together. You just put it on something non-stick, like the Tim Holtz non-stick brown mat wax paper anything um silicone and you just deck take your mod podge and your napkin and your burlap and like i said this still isn't dry but i wanted to give you an idea so is that pretty so instead of just a plain burlap you can have some with some color like a real fall leaf so yeah that was my plan with those so these are those from dollar tree so i got the orange i got more of these because my god i got <laughs> Anyway, so I wanted to share that idea with you. So now, and here's the little, I was been on the hunt for these. I found them yesterday. And they're just the little sunflowers. So cute. Um, oh. Kelly Barlow shared that she thinks these are a great deal and I have never seen them. I finally found them today. These being the wood planks idea what I'm going to do with them. You can make little signs with them. You can build them. <laughs> she said I needed them, so I got them. Yeah. Uh, I'm that kid that is easily led by her friends and people, you know. I'm going curly. I don't know. What do you think, girls? I just thought, why am I fighting the curls? Might as well. And for some reason right now, I don't know if it's the humidity of summer, but the curl is there, so why fight it? Okay, found some more ribbons. Again, sorry for the lighting. This one has the pumpkins. I love this burlap kind of look in the back. Look at those leaves, gorgeous. And I wanted these plain. I saw somebody showing that they use these, just the wide. You don't always want to print and they'll coordinate nicely with these. I am going to do, somebody requested I show the, how to use the Bodabra. That is on my list of to-dos. I haven't forgotten. Um, go ahead, I'll need so I have three more of the three more of these three more of those I'll have to get another one look what I found guess who this is gonna be for hmm M so I finally found one with M on it so I was excited about that that'll be fun and I'm gonna try um, deco or not deco alcohol inking these would these be pretty and this is just for this was in the candle section so I got a couple and I'll just ink them up and you could set your candles on top of there or whatever. So I got those. 
I love this sun kiss, so I thought for my water, so I thought I'd try the strawberry. The iced tea ones kind of give me a headache, so I don't think I'm going to drink those anymore. And these don't seem to bother me, and the orange. I love the grape, and I haven't been finding the grape ones. Um, and then, look what I found. Sergeant Pouring Medium. So if you want to do the paint pour, here's a name brand, Sergeant. A dollar! I don't know what it normally sells for, but Margaret and I have this plan. We're going to pour, so there we go, Margaret. We're ready. This is for my kitchen. I love these, because they have the... And these would be fun. I might save this. I'm going to... I've seen people where you put the spatula in, a uh, towel, you know, different kitchen things for Christmas. And maybe I could cricket or something on there. So we'll see. We will see. And I found this little cup. Must have coffee. I've never seen this one. And this is those kind of Ray Dunn ones. So yeah. They're not very big, but I'm finding that I don't need the giant cup of coffee all the time. Um, oh, and then I found another stencil. This one says Home Sweet Haunted Home. I thought that was cute. And then this has the witches, Lou, rest in peace, the haunted house. They are just, man, I don't know if these are, let me see. I don't know if these are paper or plastic. Let me try. Let me test it out. Hmm. I think they're just kind of a paper, which is fine because I'll probably use them once or twice anyway. So they should last though. Yeah, but they're just paper. Okay. I got these little pumpkin lights. I have a project in mind for these, so I got those. Um, oh, and then I thought to wash my, because I've seen somewhere advertised that you can get a thing to wash your masks in. This is a thing now. What about this? The small delicates bag, wash bag. Stick them in there, put them through the laundry. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Yeah, see, they'll fit right in there. So there you go. I'll put that toward my laundry room. Oh, and then I got this orange twine. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else. Oh, I have a bag I had unpacked. I tried to organize this, but evidently I missed some. So in the ribbon department for I'm gonna some of these I'm gonna cut the hat out and decoupage and use it on something, not just the ribbon. And I liked this is a real burlap printed. So there you go. I've been wanting this cord. I've seen that they sell them, and I have, like, if I could swing it along my deck out here so I could dry my clothes. There you go. I'm loving, but I don't know. I tried two different colors, cream, ivory, and nude beige. I just really like this stuff, and I want to stock up on you know, because they won't have it forever. I found the pink froggy, what I call the chamois. Found the pink one. You just get these wet, keep it in here, clean. It's just like the um, Lawn Fawn chamois, only it's only a dollar. Guess who I got hooked on Juji Fruits, Miss Emma. <laughs> I find her sneaking them because I keep them in a purse by my door and I, she comes out. I'm like, uh, no, little character. I like the Juji Fruit. I go, I know you do. And then I can't remember what I saw somebody do with these, but I thought, oh, they altered this somehow. I think it was on a three-tiered tray. That was it. I think I might make a three-tiered tray for my coffee table. A little ball. This place is going to be decked out. Okay. Then somebody was showing me. I didn't realize these were suction cups because they used to be a magnet. And it didn't work too good. For your um, shower, put your shaver in there. So I have one in my shower, and then I'm going to put one down here just up for my pens in my kitchen. And it's sticking up really good in my shower, so there you go. Thought that was a great idea. People keep using and talking about these Jenga blocks and how they use those, so I had to get some. I haven't been able to find them, so. Oh, and then they had different ones. Best teacher. I never feel like, I don't wanna, I don't love that, you know, that's not me. Anyway queen of everything though I think that fits I don't be like a boss or lady boss but queen of everything I think that's me don't you agree I'm queen of everything I have everything so I got that um powder 
I never have enough. That's my thing. I have to have powder. Um, oh, and then I'm so excited. My God, for a dollar, these are Hanes and um, Gild, Gildan, or I love just a big t-shirt. So this is the extra large. It's really big, but I like big t-shirts like at night. So I got the extra large. I should have gotten some large too. This one, I didn't recognize the brand, but I think it's a 100% spawn comfort wash. Might give, get some larges next time. And then this one is a Gildan. A dollar. I mean, what the heck, people? Unbelievable. Okay, let's see. Oh, and Swiss, I can't remember who, but she keeps talking about these. And I keep forgetting to try them out or look for them. And I found some today, just the one bag is all I could find. These being the Russell Stover Lemon Pucker. And I love lemon stuff. Lemon meringue, lemon, so let me see. Oh my God. If you like lemon, get a lemon pucker. Mmm. Oh my God. Really, really good. Oh, I shouldn't have bought those. Now I'm going to want them all the time. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. So rude of me. Sitting here. Oh, this is really good. Got these bigger clamps. Somebody was showing when they got the pink ones bigger, but I haven't seen those. Because I've got some projects going where I need to adhere things better. Not much you can say about that. Oh, and um, I don't know if Emma's too young for this. I don't think so. Pretty smart little trick. And then I use it at school, too. Oh, sorry. You know how I like spot the difference? Well, this is a search and count activity book. Find five differences. That might be kind of hard for her. But I can use it at school. How many? So she can count. I just thought this was great. Find two of the same pictures. How many animals do you see? So it's math related. Um, and being able to track like this is also helps with reading, tracking. So if you see these and you've got little ones at home, this is a good buy. I think that's a good book and it'll make it fun. Okay, this. Mmm, well, lemon pucker. Ooh, okay. And then I thought I'd get that. <laughs> I didn't go over with them. These are being, they're called selfie lip pop. I'm going to see what they look like, but. Because I doubt they really look like what they show here. This kind of Oh, so like purple lips, and then you get the sucker part. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's these lips. Oh, and a little dragon mouth. Oh, these are cute. Oh, she's gonna love this. Can be a sloth and a, like a hippo or a unicorn. Now those will go in my Emma stash. And I'm starting to buy her stuff. I buy for Christmas year round, so this will go in her little gift pile. Got more of these because I can't find what's up. Just saying. And then I thought for my um, that alcohol ink stuff, it's messy and I don't want to, you know, get it on anything. So I bought one of these drop cloths. The drop cloths. Well, that's probably pretty thin. Yeah. But who cares? And I can just use that and throw it away. So, made in the USA. There you go. Stocking stuffers for the boys. Camo band aids. Oh, they love those. Too cute. What else? Oh, and then I found these up by, a lot of times they're having these up by the cash register. So, disinfecting wipes. I like to have those around. I got another one of these. I don't think I have the pink one. I don't know. But that'll go for the Emma pile, too. I'm not keeping that. Uh, oh. oh, my God, am I done already? It can't be. 
found these. They had another color, a kind of a green, but I like these too. So for wreaths and stuff, pretty. I don't know what I'm doing with all these wreaths. Okay, I finally found, <laughs> look at the size of the sucker. So this is how they show they used it, where it goes dark out to light. I was thinking, I don't know if I could cover the pumpkin with it. It's orange pink, floral craft. Dollar Tree is, man, you're getting your dollars worth of that, please. This is a little bit different. These are adhesive glitter paper. And these are different colors than I have. Silver, red, and green from them. So I got a couple of those. And I got a lot of stickers. Oh, and I got wood stuff. Okay, so I think I may have bought these before, but look at that cute little fox from Sticko. Cute. Cute, 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 and more cute. And then they had, here's the sunflowers that I was so excited to find. This is perfect for my, um, if you want to make those salt and pepper snowmen, a little heart on the snowman. Cute. So there you go. Let's see. Then I got stickers. I got to quit buying stickers because I really don't use them that much, but they just are so cute. <sighs> Okay, I think I got, so I think there may be another one that I didn't get that didn't have stuff on there, but I like the summer one with the toucan, so they look metallic, but they're not. And then you get, this is cool, so you get this frame, so you can make a frame on your card. Very cute, look at the flamingo, love it. And this is a nautical theme one. Love the seahorse. That was my favorite. There's a lighthouse, a shell. So there you go. And then this one's got the butterfly drake. But they all, I think, come with the... Yeah, they all have a frame going around. Perfect for a card or adding a picture or framing a picture. That one, I think that's it. Like I said, I think they had more, but I didn't get all of them. Okay. Then I found these black. I've seen other people get these. So here's the llama. What I love, uh, what I love most about my home is who I share it with. <laughs> I guess for me, that would be myself. I love myself. I love who I share it with. Anyway. And laugh often. That fits me. Today is a good day to have a good day. Well, there you go. Home sweet home. And then the little houses. So cute. Um, here's another. Ooh, look at the whale. Oh, those cool. They look like chalk on black on a chalkboard. Oh my gosh. Not all stars belong in the sky. Look at the starfish. Look, the whale says land and sea where I want to be. My soul belongs to the sea. Happy place. I love the ocean. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. And then I got these make such a quick cute birthday card and I've never seen these particular ones so I got them. I just think these are too adorable for a little boy's calendar. I'm done with that calendar but you know there's always another one coming. Aren't those cute? Look at the little elephant driving the truck. Cement truck. Choo-choo train. I mean, boys just love... Look at that. And then you get the tracks. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Got these. I don't think I have these. Jar. Oh, good times. Gorgeous. Seven count. Life is beautiful. I agree. Good day. So, anyway. Um, but, 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 and I think these, I love their rub-ons. They work, they work really well. So I'm thinking I could do this on one of those wood plates chargers I bought. It's all here. It's just finding the time to do it. Butterfly stickers. So I used to have in my old classroom, I had the cutest over the window and door, these butterflies flying up from the ground up like they were flying away. Anyway, I took them all down. But... 
these would be pretty just on a page or yes, so. the old days the good old days okay now I've been looking for more of all the DIYs not all of them but a lot of them use these kind of boards from or plaques from Dollar Tree to do a DIY this one so I think I'll use them for the fall I'm not this one I'm not that crazy about so I don't know if I'll use them or not anyway I'm thinking of doing you know how everybody has the huge welcome how about just welcome on this size of the front of my porch well that's what I plan for that I do like this guy though he's blue I don't know to me he's cuter so but my plan is to use these for the wood more than I mean a dollar for that big large board that's a good deal. <laughs> okay. Love these cloths. So when I find them, I get them. They're in kind of like the mops and different cleaning section at most of them. Every Dollar Tree, I swear, is different. Um, what does this say? Oh, Wicked. Isn't that cute? Now, this is pretty thin, so you got to be careful when you paint it or alter it. But Wicked. I see a lot of purple and, yeah. That would be fun to alter. I think I have these stars already, but I just love this chunky stuff. These would be cute. I want to start making, pretty much I make an ornament a year for the girls for their Christmas tree. You know how a lot of people go to Hallmark. Oh, I make mine, so. I've seen this owl and I decided to get it. I see Mod Podging paper. I don't know if I can take this off. I'd like to remove the eyes and then glue it back on so I could, and the wings, so I could just alter it and then, but we'll see. I don't know. I'll let you know next year when I use that. And I found this arrow. Where's that? I've seen that a few times. I finally decided to get it. And I don't know that I got the word thankful. I know I got family and grateful, but I don't think I got thankful. Probably did, but anyway. Paint that puppy up. Put some paper on there, and you got a really cute word. Okay, I think that's it. My gosh. I know, I know, but we did show you some stuff with it, so I'm doing better. So, oh, nope, that's not it. Then I was at the hardware store buying bird seed from my trailer, and they had these bandanas. Now, they weren't cheap, cheap. I think they were two bucks. Not too bad. But anyway, I wanted an orange one, and I'm going to try to use it to cover this foam, what is, pumpkin, you know, how they have the, <laughs> anyway, styrofoam pumpkin, that's what I'm trying to say. It's orange, but I'm going to cover it with this, and add some leaves, blah, 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 so, yeah, I have enough to do here for the next 20 years. Okay, guys, that's it, I just want to say hi, and uh, we'll get, I got to put all this stuff away, I really got to get organized. All right. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.